Let me introduce this real quick, and we are live from GDC. I'm here with my main man from Ravensburger Games. Did I get that right? Yeah. Did I hit it? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Perfect. You're going to take it. Your German's great. Yeah. Thank you. I, I try. Yeah. Ravensburger. That was hard. That was hard. But we're here checking out Las Vegas today. Mm -hmm. Show me. So what is it? Let's start from the top. Okay, it is. Uh, Las Vegas is a, a tactical dice board game. Mm -hmm. uh, came out last year, was nominated for Board Game of the Year, and uh, made the runner up there. And uh, I'm very excited to port this to, uh, to iOS, coming out on iPad at, uh, at the end of April. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a look at the game uh, right in, in a two player game right now. Obviously, you can play it as a single player against the AI or online multiplayer, everything. Um, uh, you see a couple of casinos here with the, uh, uh, the money bets uh, with the numbers on top there, so you can see what you can win if you win in one of those casinos. I, I, if you're the one who's uh, rolled the most uh, dice uh, for that casino, one through six from left to right. Um, I'm in the middle of the game, I've got three dice left, which I can still roll. And you just rolled that with this finger, you just yeah. grabbed it and slapped it. That's yeah. something we were talking about before the video too, you made this game fully 3D, in Unity, yes. right? You kind of wanted to get away from that kind of top-down feel that traditional board games have, or at least that, that paper kind of thing, right? You wanted to really yeah. kind of like throw the, the player into the world. Is that kind of the Absolutely. idea? Specifically with this topic, I mean, you know, if you have a game that's called Las Vegas, you've got to transport the Vegas feeling, you know, starting with the graphics, the movement of the gameplay, and the music, yeah. uh, and really get people more into a board game and make it a more lively event for them to play. And I think we've done a, a reasonable, reasonably good job to, to achieve that here. And it's now showing me uh, where I can place these these dice and just putting it on the very left casino um, because there's no dice been placed yet, yet. So and now the opponent's uh, uh, turn. Mm. I've got four dice left, and now uh, that player can. Uh, the dice are being sorted. How many ones and threes and, and two fives? And I can see. Okay, there's no five been placed. There's ninety thousand dollars up for grabs. So I hit on the second from the right. And uh, place my dice, my two dice there. So if at the end of the round I have the most dice placed on that casino, I get the ninety thousand dollars, which are on top there. Mm. The interesting thing there is if you have got several players, and at the end of the round you and I have the same amount of dice in one casino, both of us are eliminated and we get no money at all. And then the second best runner-up catches it. So you really got to be careful how you place your dice against your opponent. And that's where it becomes much more than just a dice rolling game of luck. It really becomes a very, very tactical game. Uh, running the numbers, you know, doing the math of what are my odds to get these uh, these dice still to catch that casino with the highest uh, amount up for grabs. You know? Right, right. Um, I played it with my kids. I've got my two oldest are, are 11 and 8, and they caught on to it after a minute. It's and we had a lot of fun playing this game. Yeah, that was something else um, we were talking about earlier too. You know, it's kind of a game that, that you've streamlined out the hard stuff with board games. It doesn't have yeah. that learning curve that some of your other stuff does, like Puerto Rico, I guess. Right. Yes, so, yes. It's, it's it's a lot more accessible. We really put a lot of effort. You do need to go through the tutorial because you have to understand the rule set right, right from the beginning. I mean, there's there's no way around that. Unless they watch this, right? Yeah. yeah. Give them a head start, absolutely, brother. Absolutely, absolutely. And then you can basically almost intuitively get into this. Um, and then uh, just play. After one or two rounds, you're, you really get the hang of it and you're, in, and you're into it immediately. Um, and it's, it's then a very, very accessible game. It's, it's a fun game. Um, Really, if you sit together with a group of friends or play play online, uh, it's a very lively game. Once yeah, did we talk it, about that? The online part? How many players yeah. online supported? Uh, you can play up to four players. Up to four? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's uh, you know it's it's it, once once you're basically on board and understand the rules just very quickly. Now you see those little uh, flashes here in the third column from the left, the third casino. Yeah. Uh, because we've got two both two dice. We both run the risk of being cancelled out, and mm. none of us would win the money at the end, right? Mm. Uh, so that there's uh, an incentive uh, if we were to roll another three, but we've got a one. No, I'm sorry, it's a five. Five, yeah. That, yeah. Okay, so um, we're almost at the end of the round. Um, and then um, once I confirm that I've placed my dice here, the last player has got uh, basically one dice left. Okay, you roll one, so there, there's uh, two dice as well there uh, on the first casino, mm. which means we're being cancelled out there, and now the counter is going. Okay, 
here, three dice uh, go to the green player because he's got the most. Those two are cancelled out. No one's at casino number four, and casino number five is going to the blue player because he's got two against one, as well as casino number six. Cool! And then you can see how the money is added on top, and you play four rounds of this. Yeah. And then you've got a total at the end, and obviously, if you get the most money, then you win. You win. Sounds like Vegas. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Terry, that's Las Vegas. And when's it coming out again, man? Uh, end of April. End of April. Yeah. All right, great. Well, thank you.